Uh, I was actually going to record this in ranked because um, I, I can't be asked playing experimental. But then I thought trying to actually talk about a topic while playing 2300 EU ranked is, is, is most definitely not the play. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're on the Taros and experimental. You'll have to see it. But um, it leads into my point and the point of the entire video, uh, which is meta. Is it worth just playing meta uh, in the game? Like, it's something I've thought about like a lot ever since I, I started playing because uh, when I started getting a bit better at the game was when they they, they like really cracked down on, on, on Scythe like they, they nerfed it quite a lot um, it went from probably the best weapon in the game to people were considering it you know quite underpowered in a, in a lot of ways now once again it's considered kind of meta uh, some people say it's the best weapon in the game some people still say it's ass. Uh, majority of people would say it's top five that's what I'd say myself um, okay that was I was gonna say that's a poor decision, but apparently I am I'm I'm, I'm poorer at the game. Uh, I guess is that. Oh, yeah, that's the that's the terrorist tech. But um, yeah, because like obviously I've always enjoyed Scythe, so that's why I've always played it. Um, and one of my first videos actually, I don't know if you like even on my channel anymore, uh, was talking about like is it even worth to play Scythe in a meta uh, where it's not actually like good. Um, and that was ages ago, obviously, but. Um, it kind of stands now for like, say if you play, I don't know, what weapons like Nox, like Blasters, for example. Is it even worth to play Blasters? Oh, Greatsword. Definitely Greatsword is, is, a, is a very good example. Because um, those weapons are, you know, they've had their time. Of course, Blasters used to have like four-piece combos, three-piece true combos. Um, but yeah, definitely not anymore. And uh, now they're pretty weak compared to basically everything else in ones. Um, so is it even worth to play it? Because uh, like... You know, you can have fun on a weapon, but it's like, it's so frustrating. You know, when you're you're, you're there, you know, you're, you're grinding out ranked, you're trying to win games, and you're playing your favorite weapon, because obviously you are, you know, you, you want to have fun, but it's like, everything you do, it just feels pointless, because it's like, well, I could just be playing Taros, for example, and have a much easier time, and be winning games much easier. Um, and I think that's a feeling that, like, everyone's felt at some point, right? Because it's just... It's quite common, you know, weapons cycle in and out of meta a lot. Uh, Gaunt, for example, went from like really out of meta to by far the most broken weapon in the game uh, a few patches ago when they brought the free piece back. Um, so there was that. I need to hit a, the, the terror sensing on him. There, <laughs> it's so broken. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyway. And um, yeah, I mean, just playing weapons aren't in the meta. Um, it, it, can, it can be really frustrating because like, you know, you're looking at the game and you're seeing all these other weapons prospering and, and you know people are obviously abusing them you know people who have never picked up hammer a day in their lives are picking up hammer and doing amazing with it because uh, they've spent a day learning how to play it properly and it's like it's like why don't i just do that but at the same time you don't want to because you want to have fun and maybe you don't like hammer and it's like i don't know it's an awkward one and it's, it's something i don't even have the answer to really because i mean right now i should just be well i mean i don't know because there's wanting to improve and then there's wanting to be like high elo right um, I think for the majority of people, you're not in the position where you're like, you're 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 potentially winning tournaments or not winning, but but placing at the very least. You know, maybe earning some money, uh, maybe earning that eighth place money or, or something like that. Um, so there's that, right? If you are, then I think you're you're doing yourself a disservice by not picking meta. But it's like, yeah, like I said, the majority of people aren't in that position in the first place anyway. And so, yeah, okay, this <laughs> this character, man. Um, but yeah, like I think personally, I'd say, you know, if you are just trying to improve, uh, you don't really care too much about ELO, you just want to get better at the game, you know, you're not realistically going to place like top uh, top 16 in a tournament or anything, which obviously there's going to be 16 people per region who can do that. So most likely not. Um, then like, yeah, just play whatever you want really, because you can improve on any character. Um, and I mean, any character you can win on really there's no character in this game where it's like you're you're gonna be at a disadvantage compared to you know if you're playing taros or koji or or uh, bodvar something like that but you can still do very well i mean like you know you see kind of different things because like in eu scythe is never won na though sandstorm makes mordex work every tourney and it's like all the eu players who try playing mordex are probably wondering like, how does he do that but then na i mean there's no bodvars that win but then every single tourney in EU, Bodvar's winning. So it's like, 
just because in your region like Mordex isn't winning, you can still pick Mordex. Most definitely, you can make him work because other people have shown you it's definitely possible. I mean, the other person is Sandstorm, so it's, it's like, yeah. Uh, but at the same time, it will probably be easier, <laughs> like be easier, sorry, if you do just pick, don't know, some some, some brain dead legend. Um, and that, that's kind of the thing. So, yeah. But like, if you are, you know, trying to go for ELO, you know, you're trying to go for some, some big ELO goal, or i mean I, I don't know why you'd want to do that I get literally for clout there's no other reason um i mean i guess say if you're a content creator it'd be nice to put in your titles 2500 because you hit it two seasons ago on terrorist uh there's that but i tried to end sick there it's kind of disappointing oh wait here we go uh it didn't drop actually one more okay <laughs> wait one more <laughs> poor guy man <laughs> But yeah, if you are trying to go for that ELO goal for whatever reason, um, or you're trying to actually place in Tawny, then maybe it is worth it to just sacrifice your soul, uh, sell it off to the devil and play Taros. Because, I mean, why? I mean, like, if you're sat there and you're playing Fatch, then just don't. <laughs> just like, if you're actually really trying to place and you really, like, you want that money or you want that ELO, then, you know, there's way better options than something like Fatch or, like, Cross or something. Like, it's not... It's not going to be worth. Um, or, you know, alternatively, your goal is, okay, I want to show people Fatch can be good. and I want to hit 2,500 on Fatch. Be like the only player to do it. Get rank on Fatch on on, um, on Brawl DB. That's valid, honestly. Uh, there's a lot of people do that. A lot of people have their, like, niche. Um, I know someone who, who's, who's a Dusk main, and he's the only Dusk main I know, right? Um, so every season, they're there climbing the ladder, you know, trying to get rank on Dusk. Fair enough. But yeah, like I said, I, I think, honestly, because myself, like, I'm, at the moment, I'm just trying to improve. I don't think I could place in a tourney now at all. Um, and the thing is, is, like, even though I'm playing more decks, like, that's good. That's fine. Like, I, I can 100% do one on more decks. So all the practice I'm putting in is not going to be wasted. Even if, you know, I do decide at some point uh, to, like, really try and really win, then I, I can still do it on that legend. Um, if I was playing maybe, don't know, Jiro or something, for example... I feel like I'm wasting my time a bit more. Um, so I guess like one tip is, you know, if you have a weapon, you know, you have your favorite weapon, just um, try go as meta as you can with that weapon. Obviously me, I'm a, I'm a dirty, just unshowered monkey brain scythe main. Um, so the most meta pick I can go for is Mordex and that's exactly what I'm doing. Or Fate, and I have been playing Fate, but it's, the orb is getting kind of long. I, I've gone back to Mordex, I can't lie to you, man. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. That's 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 what I've done. Uh, it's just pick the most meta that I can pick while still playing a legend that I actually enjoy uh, and then want to play and have fun playing. Uh, but still, at times it feels frustrating because like I can't kill on Mordex and it's like, okay, if I was playing Terros right now, I could I could stomp there. If I was playing Bordvar, I could literally do D light on either weapon and then kill with such ease. But um, I guess all you really can do is realize like what's like there's upsides and there's downsides to every weapon, so just try and you know realize that there are upsides, but there are probably going to be downsides too. Like great sword, for example, is I mean it probably has the most potential in the entire game, which is the upside obviously. Um, but then like a lot of that potential hasn't been realized by people yet. So like you know the groundwork for the weapon isn't there. You have to discover a lot of things yourself, uh, which is obviously a downside, and then. I don't know. Another upside would be like not many people have the the matchup knowledge, right? Like not a lot of people know how to play against Greatsword because it's it's just not common. I literally saved him, and he's he's grandpa in my head. I, I cannot believe the the the, the rudicity going on. Uh, um, see, now I might have just thrown the game. I lied. Anyway, uh, yeah. So stuff like that. No, Scythe, like I just said, builds damage insanely well. Um, a lot of potential once again, like Greatsword, but it can't kill. Um, and I guess like if you are being honest with yourself and you you know you think of all your your upsides and downsides, and you think at the end okay there's way more downsides than there are upsides, maybe just drop the weapon, save yourself the save yourself the pain of having to play a weapon where every time you queue you're like oh fuck I cannot be bothered queuing at all. Um, but yeah I mean that's what I really have to say on the topic. I don't really know uh, what going for the fate at the moment, but, but I'm I'm sure they have something in mind. I guess. Uh, I oh, oh, they actually made it back. I, this map used to be 20 legal, by the way. I feel like I say that every time some, like, just interesting things happen on maps I play in Experimental. But, like, for real, th this was 20 legal for so long. With this platform just, just here, just chilling.
But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, that's all I have to say, really. Um, so this will probably be the last one. Unless he just reversed trees. To oh, no, he is, he is finished. That was, a, that was an interesting game, for sure. Um, but yeah, if you made it here and you're not already, I would really, really appreciate it if you subscribed. Uh, we're getting closer and closer to 15k, which is insane. Uh, last time I, 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 I made note of the sub count, it was like, like 12k and all of a sudden we're nearly 14. Uh, so thank you a lot for the support lately. It's been insane. Also, if you saw my community post, um, I gave a shout out to someone for hitting 1k uh, or to, to, to try and get them to 1k before Christmas. Yeah, you lot, <laughs> you lot did that plus an extra thousand percent. So yeah, he's very grateful. I'm very grateful to have a community like this. Um, and yeah, hope you'll have a good holidays and uh, that'll do it. See you a lot. Probably not tomorrow because it is Christmas, uh, but the day after for sure. And yeah, like I said, I'm Chris Hill Days. Uh, peace.